So this is probably our uh, our big finale for Tamerlane. Let's get into it. Silence gripped the court. The narrative This is like the fifth time they've the used this freaking picture. The had been finished for some time. Uh, the fires were beginning to die low. If Tamerlane turned west, he surely would have collided with a mighty Ottoman Empire. Would he even dare to do such a thing? For some time, the local Turkoman tribes of the Levant had been requesting aid against Ottoman aggression. With his army resting and his coffers full of Indian riches, Tamerlane was ready for more bloodshed. He knew there was more than one way to motivate an army. Religious fervor and promises of land and plunder drove his men forward. This land was familiar with the terror of previous invasions, but nothing could prepare them for the onslaught that lay ahead. Thirsting for glory, Tamerlane's armies flooded across mountains, plains and rivers to terrorize Armenia, Georgia, and the Levant. Alrighty. No, Prithviraj had four, and Laloy did indeed have six. That was the exception. Acquire, acquire 10,000 gold in plunder, tribute, or any other means. No, Byzantines don't have bloodlines, guys. Byzantines don't have bloodlines, they never have bloodlines, nor should they have bloodlines. That's just a meme from uh, long ago. Okay, we're in Imp and we have a pop limit of 200. Without any villagers. Oh boy, so we have to convert villagers or get them from Gaia or something. Are still weak and unprepared. Okay. Handful of mineral deposits on the map. You require additional gold by raiding trading posts, sacking enemy towns, or collecting relics. Your enemies are heavily dependent on trade for their gold income. Harass their trade yet, routes, or better yet, shut them down entirely. Yep. Seems like it, baby shoes. It seem, I think it's a bug, but it seems like every time I go to the scouts report, it starts at the bottom. Yeah, Prithvi only had four. Timberland's army is camped near the Black Sea, uh, but we have to expand early. We have to go to Georgia. They seem kind of weak. Uh, Baghdad seems like they're probably a big enemy. Have Armenia, Aleppo. Again, not much. I assume Damascus. I guess the Damascus isn't huge. Okay, the Mameluk Sultanate is the big one. Kadas without bloodlines are still awesome. States of the Levant lie at our feet. Let us show them the true meaning of Alright, we have some fish in the ships. And it looks like the Black Sea is full of fish. I think we're going to be using uh, monk, uh, monks extensively. So let's go do that. And thus begins our conquest. Yep, it seems like a uh, carbon copy of the Attila mission. Which is honestly okay. Like, it's- but it, it's different in that there isn't like one big enemy that we have to extort gold from. There's like a bunch of enemies. So I would say that it's different enough. But yeah, these guys, um, they're on a one-way trip to Frown Town, to say the least.
Yeah. I feel like there would likely be a showdown with the Ottomans. Because the Ottomans aren't in this at all, as far as I can tell. We're mostly up against Saracens. Uh, Armenia is, of course, going to be Byzantines. Georgia is Persians, and everyone else is Saracens. Has destroyed one of our trading posts. Dismayed by the slaughter, enemy envoys hasten in vain to offer Armenia us gold in exchange for leaving their lands. Is this all Georgia has? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna take a moment. We can heal up some of our troops, and we're gonna send some light cav around and see what our best uh, area to strike next is gonna be. As the air fills with smoke, local dignitaries flock to us with the false hope of trading their gold for their lives. Amir, this Turkoman village has offered to help supply our ore. Wait, what? I can just build town centers? I thought this was going to be one of those, like, you have very limited, uh, you know, villagers and stuff scenarios. But I can just build town centers. <laughs> How can we catch fish today without our dog on Lake Basel? I don't know. That's not, that's not my problem. That's weird. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's just attacking units. Otherwise, they would just say generates gold by attacking. But yeah, that, that is really weird. Like, am, am I? I'm not alone on this, right? Did you guys initially think that this would just be a uh, limited eco campaign as well? Hopefully those guys are friendly. Even though they very explicitly say that they're not nice. Just take down the town center. And judging by their score, they really don't have much left. Poor Georgia. Also known as Porja. Yeah, exactly, True Delta. Frickin' Persian TCs, man. So tanky. I thought it'd be like the uh, the second scenario, where you just get like very few villagers. There is no multiplayer, noobtuber. At least not right now. There it goes. That. And held its inhabitants from the crags. Pray for the fallen. That voice, man. That's something. Uh, yes, you can make trade cards. Huh. 
Because like in the uh, the siege of Constant or the walls of Constantinople, uh, you couldn't make trade carts or a market at all because that that's not how Huns make money. Guess I can build a dock here. Oh, you fucker! Uh oh, spaghetti! -o. Bring some cav archers to a little village here. Oh, hello, Baghdad. Did they get no... Com oh, they probably have heresy. What with the being an imperial age and everything? So we're in a little bit of an awkward position, but we should be fine. There's always the old standby of the AI being idiots when it comes to dealing with buildings. Oh wait, no, Saracen foot archers! My town center! Lol. So we only need 10,000 gold. That's not too much. Ah. Oh, hey, there's a relic right there. doesn't become one of those infinite unit spam scenarios because I'm not a fan. Yeah, Humphil Glalosh is on um, my YouTube channel right now. In all of its remade glory, that is still 100% bug. But yeah, on my YouTube. And I'm working my way through the historical battles. Uh, in between the new campers. Okay, I do have enough for a castle. So... Oh, those are siege onagers. Oh boy. Well, this one's definitely a step up in difficulty. Be still doing just fine. We just like once these guys get cleared out, we'll get a castle, and I think we'll be good to go. Oh, those units died. But you know, being a soldier in Ornlu's army is never uh, a great gig. Okay, okay. Now let's. Oh wait, let's uh, let's wait. Let's kill the Zedonger first, so we don't get a Tim castle. Then we'll uh, get that. And 
good to go. Okay, there are the Armenians. Salam. Oh, wait. Forgot to get the relic. Also, I should build another dock over here to improve the efficiency of my fishing. The fishing sea. Probably put more farms moving backwards so they're not as exposed. That's what a smart person would do. Alas, again, these troops are commanded by uh, Commander Ornlu. This one's definitely a step up in difficulty from literally all of the other ones. <laughs> well, actually, the first couple were... The first couple were definitely easier than this, but they were, you know... Very reasonably tricky. I'm not sure what the uh, the impetus is for those messages. Like, what's causing them to attribute us stuff. If it's anything I'm doing, or if it's on a set timer or something. I save the PC. Hope so. No wood. <laughs> Some random Keshex. That will help with gold income, obviously. Mr. Pokey Poke. So many idle villagers. It seems like they're not really attacking us much from this angle, so we're just going to expand in this direction. That should get enough arms. Have like a villager to repair that. Almost out of idle villagers. Almost. Okay, phew! Elite Keshik is a fairly cheap elite upgrade, 700 food, 900 gold. As far as elite upgrades go for unique units, it's not that bad. Why I know all Southern TC? I suppose I could, but uh, I'm really limited in stone. But yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Do Tartars have guilds? I think they do. Yeah, they do. It's a lot of monkers. <laughs> Feels banned, man. Feels banned, banned. Okay, I think we're stabilizing. 
We're definitely running very low in gold. But I think once we start doing some more of the, the conquering, I think we should be okay. Get some trebuchets. Some light cab, which do benefit from the extra pierce armor from silk armor. Just go classic uh, light cab plus cab archer for the time being while gold is low. Once we get some more gold, we can uh, focus that into building some rams. Uh, the thing is, Hightower, we just don't have any gold to invest into them right now. Like, Kashyyyks and rams are going to be primo targets to add into our army once we can afford them. But we just have zero gold income right now. Finish off Georgia? I think they pretty much are finished off. You don't need to actually defeat the players, you just need to accumulate the gold. Of which we are, uh, well, not doing so hot right now. That should be the town center. Uh, or not. Yeah, our anti camel options are rather bleh right now. Well, that's something. Have all oh, I never got the frickin' relic in the. Monastery. Again, I wouldn't say we're thriving, but we're surviving. Okay. Now we've mixed a few Keshiks, which should help out. And I'd love to add in some Siege Rams. Oh yeah, Targers do have Bombard Tower for some weird reason. Fish traps. Get ourselves to our pop limit. That should hold them for a while. Wait, did they up the cost? Wait, am I going crazy or did they? Is Capram 500? I think I'm going crazy. Vubli is dead? Well, yeah, of course, you got a brand new toy. People are going to want to play with it. Yeah, it's just right. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Not today, at least. Deal with it. Next up is Armenia. Hello. 
Dismayed by the slaughter, enemy envoys hasten in vain to offer us gold in exchange for leaving their lands. But yeah, this has definitely been my favorite Tamerlane campaign so far. Oh crap. I didn't think this through! even see him behind them, the dock there. Oh, shice. What's my fish? I don't have a fish trap hotkey. Also, there's still some shorefish they can take. Lazy bastards. Just need to use the market a bit more. Okay. Still, village accounts looking a little low for what I would like. And let's get back to attacking Armenia. Actually, I think if we kill these buildings, um, they'll probably give us some more gold, which would be very useful. Uh, okay, there's Baghdad. Um, don't you mean Allah save us? I think they think they uh, had a little bit of a fail there. <laughs> yes, I know a lot directly translates to God, but still. Okay, so Aleppo's gone. Tatars. These taters. To make this more entertaining? How is this not entertaining? This is way more entertaining than any of the other scenarios. Why aren't these guys attacking? As the air fills with smoke, local dignitaries flock to us with the Maybe uh, that message plays when I destroy town centers? I don't know. Oh god. Oh god, is it Don't tell me I have to do corn loo right now. Corn hub. <laughs> What is corn loo, he asks. Oh shit, that thing is 2 HP. <sighs> well, well, all right. Guess I might as well do corn loo the, the rest of this scenario, even though this lack of agriculture featured here in this Tartar 5 campaign scenario is not. It's not very agricultural, it's very, it's very raiding. 
Oh, damn, it's an hat of rats, Diane. Multiplayer seems to be foochie now. Well, ain't that just a, a joy to behold? Man, these here camel riders, they're, uh, they're definitely being a bit of a nuisance. Actually, let's send this siege ram to destroy that bear market. Oh, I'm not really sure what that villager's doing there. But I got a worse memory than my grandpappy's goldfish, so not really, uh, not really sure what I'm doing most of the time. Honestly, having a little bit of problem banking up some gold at this here point. Want the ever loving fuck TBH? Clearly, you have never experienced the uh, quote unquote jaw that is Corn Lou. Looks like we need to regroup with our army a little bit. Probably need to focus a bit more on the cav archer. What the hell are these guys doing over here? Now, Inglorious Bastards was a great movie because it, it featured an individual from my home of Pornlu Land with Brad Pitt's character, of course. Going to kill them Nazis. Be entirely honest, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to ever bank up to that 10,000 gold mark, considering they are throwing almost exclusively gold units at us. Joe Dirt, I don't, I don't, I don't know what in the sweet song of the South there is a Joe Dirt. Sail Reyes? I mean, that can get us a little bit of the way, but I got, I got nowhere near enough of that food and go good. Yeah, he's supposed to be from East Tennessee in Appalachia, whereas Cornloo is obviously from Cornloo land, which is, uh, it's somewhere. Let's use this heal bonus. Of course, being Cornloo, not really sure what a heal is, considering I'm from the Midwest. But, uh, this, this, this definitely looks like that heal. Well, now our population is somewhat climbing back up. Hopefully things will be getting up a tad easier once we start getting rid of the markets. Or, uh, players in general, I suppose. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! This is like when they, they hike the tax on all corn transactions. No, I don't believe we have any allies in this scenario, and in fact, we do not.
So Damascus seems pretty well defended. Baghdad, not so much. So we're gonna go for Baghdad indeed. And with the destruction of the barracks and this market, we should be seeing the Armenians resign faster than you can say a Kardashian wedding. Tamerlane has plunged into Anatolia and demolished our trading center. Help! Tartars are attacking our trade routes, is what they're saying. Uh, I forgot I had siege workshops here already. Get some more Keshiks. And another trebuchet. Twenty second stream delay. Well, I'm not too sure about that. Barely dropped any frames all stream long. Oh god damn it! There's this tower still here. Yeah, we're we're doing a, a reenactment of America's 2000 in, uh, 2001 invasion of Baghdad or 2003. My bad. My Baghdad. But yeah, I don't think we're supposed to trade with enemy markets so much as we are to destroy them. Yeah, spectating, not the greatest in this game. Well, of course, Murka. Murka is the greatest country on God's green earth. Nothing but amber waves of corn, as far as the eye can see. And there goes Baghdad. Well, hello, Flo at Old Say. Welcome back to everyone's favorite hero, Hornlu. Fire towers. Let's go get rid of that one. Because they're going to tear a new one into our siege rams. Oh, there's a market of Damascus, though. That is also a primo target for our raiders. Uh oh. Well, those are the Mamluks coming in with Mamelukes. You can see the nomenclature difference between these two. Entities, the Mameluk versus the Mamluk. Really, this lack of consistency is a blot upon our beloved Age of Empire series. You can check your their pin with the F11 button, or what that's FPS. Ping is uh, appearing around here during multiplayer games. Ah, uh, we're getting closer to that 10k gold mark. I mean, realistically, how much can Selen help us out at this point? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there for sure. What's my benchmark? I don't remember. It's like... I think 1200... With a thousand was the minimum. <laughs> well, thank you, Van AOC. Is Ornlu from the south? Not I'm from Ornlu land, which is distinctively in the Midwest. A complete geographic entity from the south. You see, in them their southern US states, they have long drawn out accents where you just lacks a days and they go about 
saying every word. We don't got time for that here in the Midwest. We got we got to tend the farms and pluck the chickens and milk the cows every morning. Can't just be waiting all day to say words and stuff. Tamarlane has demolished our riverside citadel. Not since the savagery of Hulegu have we seen such misfortune. Feels Hulegu, man. You have plundered our site of prayer. Yeah, this is why they didn't let you build a market in the uh, Walls of Constantinople scenario, because I can just do that! Well, we have plundered. We'll ensure that my line prospers for eternity! Oh, way! We did it! Turn the game sound up. Yeah, we can do that in future scenarios. Yeah, but I can turn it up in OBS. Oh, hi. It is a wonder. That probably would have given us a ton of gold had we destroyed it. Also, this castle we could take down. George definitely didn't have anything left to offer. Aleppo wiped off the map as well. Same with Armenia. There is a mosque here in Damascus. And looks like the Mamluks just uh, were trading down here to the south, making some of their namesake unit, as well as Hussars and Siege Onagers. Oh. Well, howdy-ho. Looks like there was some gold and a relic down here in the far south that we could take. Anyway, let's see what the Tamerlane dudes have to say. Tamerlane's forces are in the rampant. Looting and burning as they went. For a land that had only recently experienced the plague, this scourge must have seemed to signal the end of the world. Although he was known for his military campaigns, Tamerlane was also a patron of the arts. When a city was sacked, the artisans and scholars were spared and sent to his capital at Samarkand, where they created a vibrant blend of cultures. Populations who resisted him, however, were not spared. After his siege had broken the Armenian fortress of Van, Tamerlane ordered its inhabitants hurled from the crags. Just like Hulegu, roughly a century before, Tamerlane showed particular cruelty to the city of Baghdad. Each man in Tamerlane's army was required to bring him two heads. The warriors slaughtered the population of the city, then slew the prisoners they had brought with them. It is said that to satisfy Tamerlane's command, some even slew their own wives. For the survivors of this savagery, it seemed as if the sun would never rise again. Maybe they should have sacrificed to Quetzal Kotl. The Aztecs tended to do that for a while. Anyway, here are them, their achievables. We'll be posting this to YouTube within a few days. Alrighty.